Now today what I'm going to do is attempt to answer a few questions sent to us in submission on the YouTube inbox. The first one is coming from Nursing Girl 2020, who is now in the section of her anatomy course discussing parts of the nervous system. She sent two questions in particular that she wants to get answered. The first one is going to be, what's the difference between the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system? And the second one is going to be, what are these plexes and the functional capabilities of these plexes that branch off of the spinal cord and go into different regions of the body? These are two really good questions that I'm going to answer now. Now the first part of that I'm going to focus on is going to be the central nervous system. Your central nervous system is consistent of your brain and spinal cord. Your peripheral nervous system is consistent of 12 cranial nerves and 31 spinal nerves, all of which function together as a unit to be able to send messages and signals back and forth to each other to help you productively produce the responses that you produce on a daily basis every day of your life. Now, on the peripheral side of your nervous system, you're going to have these spinal nerves that branch off from the spinal cord, and they're going to have these little fingers that branch off of them known as plexes. Now, on the first region of your spinal cord, it's going to be C1 through C4 that's going to be known as your cervical plexes. This region is highly important because it's going to branch off into different regions of your body, and it's going to help you be able to control your skin and to your neck muscles and trapezius that are going to be superior to your shoulder blades. And it's also going to be able to help you to be able to control the involuntary movements of your diaphragm. Now, the region that's going to be directly posterior to that is going to be known as your brachial plexus. That's going to be C5 through T1 on the thoracic region. This area is going to be responsible and obligated to be able to help you to control your skin and muscles of your arms and extremities that are going to be exterior to the trunk of your body. Now, what we have just done is we went on ahead and made the distinguish between your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. We said that your central nervous system is consistent of your brain and your spinal cord, and your peripheral nervous system is consistent of these nerves that are going to be 12 in the cranial and 31 in the spinal. And we said that the plexes are going to be these little branches that branch off from the spinal nerves and go to different regions of your body to be able to help you control the trapezius area, the neck muscles, and your arm muscles as well. The central nervous system is highly important when it's in interaction with the peripheral nervous system because it's going to help you to be able to produce these response and mechanisms that help you function on a daily basis. Welcome, welcome. 